You're watching KX News, putting North Dakota first. When we're young, we can have grand ideas about what we want to be when we grow up. Perhaps a rocket scientist, an astrophysicist, or president. Anchor even? Yes. But in this week, someone <laughs> you should know, the man you're about to meet never thought he'd be referred to as general. What's the saying? Uh, time flies when you're having fun. It's one way Major General Alan Dorman describes a career dedicated to serving the United States. Growing up in Minnesota, Dorman says the idea of a military career may have come from having fun. When I was preschool and first and second grade, there's only one other boy in the neighborhood, and his dad was a World War II vet, and we spent all day playing Army. I don't know if that planted the seed uh, for later in life, but uh, I know growing up, every time there was a military movie on TV, I begged my parents to watch it. Uh, I won't date myself with all the military TV shows of the day, but uh, I watched every one of them. Dorman would go through ROTC training at Mankato State, learning to, like them or not, carry out orders. They decided it would be a good infantryman at the time. I didn't think that was a good idea. Uh, but then I got into the infantry, and um, it reminded me of uh, growing up in a small town where if you were six foot four, you were going to be on the basketball team if you had any skills or not. In his first years, Dorman was stationed in Germany and Japan. After that, Dorman thought his military time was over. I was going to law school, and a classmate of mine was in the National Guard, and he said, hey, why don't you... Uh, Come join us, you'll get some money on weekends, and when you're in law school, it's hard to make money. He joined with the thought of his second round of service not lasting long. It's now been almost 40 years, with seven this December, as Major General of the North Dakota National Guard, for which the General says he's grateful. Just the opportunities I've had to go places, deploy, uh, overseas some educational opportunities that would have never been available to a C student <laughs> if, uh, if I hadn't been in the National Guard. Military generals are in their positions because they have certain skills and qualifications. But General Dorman points out positions of authority haven't gone to his head. And in the military too, as you gain rank, it's like right now I gotta act like a major. Well, no, you gotta be the best version of yourself. As mentioned earlier, time continues to fly. And Dorman says retirement is coming. As to what he'll do then, he's still in basic training. I know I can't uh, go from doing this to puttering in my garage all day. Uh, so it's got to be something more than that. Uh, everybody tells me when you retire, just do nothing for a while. Um, I'll give that a try. I haven't done nothing in a while, but we can, we can see how that goes. Until North Dakota and the nation render him a salute for his leadership and service, the general offers one of his own salutes. The name of it is Someone You Should Know. Uh, I would submit to your audience there's 4,100 guardsmen that you should know. If you know somebody in the military, uh, ask them what their story is. Major General Alan Dorman is someone you should know. When I asked General Dorman about what it's like to be in the spotlight and having to make decisions, he says some of the best advice he's ever received is simple. Trust your gut.